Konnichiwa, hello and welcome to Japan. For United States Army Garrison Japan, I'm Army Captain Lisa Argo. For the next few moments, we'd like to share what the Army has in store for you during a tour of duty in Japan. You'll see why Japan is an outstanding assignment for soldiers and families and a great place to live, work, and play. We'll give you a taste of Japanese culture and tour some of the best facilities the Army has to offer anywhere in the world. Again, welcome to Japan. Welcome back. Officially known as the Land of the Rising Sun, Japan is home to the U.S. Army Garrison Japan. U.S. Army Garrison Japan provides quality installation services and support to the soldiers, civilians, and families of U.S. Army Japan and I-Corps Forward, mission units, tenant commands, and installation partners dispersed throughout Japan to ensure mission readiness and the well-being of our community. The garrison's area of responsibility spans nearly 1,500 miles from Aomori Prefecture in the north of the island of Honshu to the island of Okinawa in the south. The Pacific Ocean Islands of Japan are located southeast of Russia and east of China, North Korea, and South Korea, with Taiwan to the southwest of Okinawa. Japan boasts a population of approximately 125 million Japanese and numerous foreign nationals from all over the world including several thousand U.S. service members, civilian employees, retirees, contractors, and their families. The United States Army Japan, or USARJ as we like to call it, can be traced back to the U.S. Armed Forces Far East, formed in Manila in July 1941 and commanded by the General of the Army, Douglas MacArthur. After the war, the headquarters first moved to Tokyo, then to Yokohama in 1953, and finally to its present location on Camp Zama in October 1953. After many different organizational changes over the years, i corps Ford was activated in Japan on December 19, 2007. USARJ remains headquartered at Camp Zama, Japan, where it engages in numerous bilateral activities with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force and performs duties as the Army Component Command to U.S. Forces Japan. Today, Japan is considered one of the most developed countries in the world. It's a place where visitors come to enjoy and appreciate an ultra-modern lifestyle and a culture with deep traditional roots. Japan's customs, manners, and folklore are rich and diverse. Although Japan is slightly smaller than California, it offers numerous cultural and historical locations to explore. In Japan, you'll find a thriving, high-tech nation, rich in opportunity and full of unique and exciting activities. The efficient public transportation system here allows for easy access to a wide variety of entertainment and cultural attractions, from amusement parks to museums and temples. Visitors to Japan will find a full range of modern-day department stores, malls, and specialty shops. These shops offer customers the latest in international fashion and goods priced for just about any budget. You are sure to find exactly what you're looking for at any one of the many shopping destinations found all over Japan. Japanese food offers an amazing variety of tastes and styles. Sushi, tonkatsu, ramen, and many more tasty treats await you. You could spend years here and never eat at the same place twice. But if you're looking for a taste of home or just some good old-fashioned comfort food, there's no need to worry because an assignment to Japan also means that you'll have easy access to plenty of the same restaurant franchises you were familiar with back in the States. To put it simply, if you're looking for a rewarding and fulfilling career with plenty of room for advancement opportunity, Japan needs to be at the top of your list of gotta go there assignments. For soldiers assigned to Japan, your first stop in Japan will likely be the Narita International Airport via a commercial flight or Yokota Air Base via a military charter flight. Pets may be brought to Japan, but there are numerous local Japanese laws and regulations that must be followed. There are also restrictions on the number, size, and type of pets. Your sponsor should be able to help connect you with veterinary services to answer your questions. Shipment of pets must be at the owner's expense, 
it is extremely important to start the process early and to ensure that required documentation is in order. Some requirements for shipping pets are a rabies vaccination no less than 30 or no more than 360 days old, a veterinarian health certificate issued within the previous 10 days, USFJ Form 380, customs-free import-export of cargo or customs declaration. Narita International Airport is located about 40 miles east of Tokyo and 75 miles from Camp Zama. It is one of the busiest passenger airports in Japan. New arrivals to Japan have instant access to a variety of airport shops, eateries, and information outlets, including the U.S. Department of Defense liaison counter. Once you arrive at Narita, travelers must clear Japanese quarantine and immigration before claiming luggage at the designated baggage carousel. After acquiring luggage, travelers must exit the baggage area through customs. The DOD liaison counter can be found through the south wing lobby toward the far right of the terminal. Soldiers should have their sponsor reserve a seat on the Camp Zama shuttle bus in advance. Sponsors may meet soldiers at Narita or at Camp Zama. If you'd rather travel to Camp Zama by other means, there are also commercial buses and trains to help get to Camp Zama. The Keisei bus travels from Narita Airport to Sagami Ono train station for a fee. Once at Sagami Ono, travelers to Camp Zama can take the local Odakyu Odawara Line train to Sobodai Mai Station. There are also several railway options to get from Narita Airport to Camp Zama. The Skyliner and Narita Express are available options. Japanese public transportation is very efficient and clean. Sobodai Mai Station on the Odakyu Odawara Line is accessible with a few transfers. Once at Sobodai Mai Station, travelers can get a taxi to nearby Camp Zama. If you're arriving at Yokota Air Base, you will be met by a MAC representative who will escort all passengers to the inbound customs and immigration area. After completion of immigration formalities, you will pick up your bags and go to the customs inspection area for inbound customs inspection. Your sponsor may meet you either at Yokota Air Base Terminal or upon your arrival at Camp Zama. It's about a 90 minute drive from Yokota to Camp Zama. The key to efficient and relatively stress-free travel is working closely with a sponsor. Soldiers should establish contact with a sponsor early and maintain contact often. Sponsors should help with local travel arrangements. Upon arrival, personnel new to Japan will attend a newcomer's orientation to learn about all of the services and facilities the installation has to offer. New personnel also attend a Japanese Head Start course that introduces newcomers to Japanese customs and culture. Most newly arriving personnel traveling on official orders are temporarily housed at the Camp Zama Lodge at government expense. You'll have ample time to find a permanent home to meet your needs. As you begin in-processing at your new duty station, there are several benefits and allowances you need to keep in mind. First, for most soldiers assigned from the States, the cost of the move is included in the package, so you don't have to worry about buying your own plane tickets to get here or back home at the end of your tour. That is all paid for at government expense for both you and your eligible family members. As you get ready to move, you won't have to worry about paying for temporary lodging and meals. That's all taken care of for you because the government will pay that for up to 10 days prior to your departure from the United States. There are significant weight restrictions for shipping household goods to Japan. Service members should be sure to check with the transportation office to determine the authorized weight. Take comfort in knowing that all household goods will be professionally packed and shipped to Japan or put in storage for you at government expense. You probably won't be able to bring everything to Japan, but don't worry. Tables, chairs, sofas, rugs, lamps, bedroom sets, stoves, refrigerators, washers and dryers are all provided by the housing office at no cost to you. It is strongly recommended that you not ship items that can be obtained at housing. Your sponsor can work with the housing office to answer any questions you have. The two types of housing that are available are unaccompanied enlisted personnel housing and unaccompanied officer personnel housing and also family housing, which are both located on SAJ, which is Sagamihara Family Housing. The square footage of on-post and off-post housing vary in size, some 1,500 square feet, some 2,400 square feet. All E6s and below will be residing at the UEPH facilities here at Camp Zama. 
UPH is located on Camp Sama proper for eligible enlisted officers and authorized DOD civilian personnel. UPH is also available at Hardy Barracks, Pier 6, Cure, and Torrey Station, Okinawa, for personnel assigned in those locations. Based on your grade, you are either authorized a studio, which is 340 square feet, or a suite, which is 440 4 to 460 square feet. I would say to not bring all of their furniture over here, not bulky furniture, because we have, again, full tour furnishings. And it, because of the square footage that varies in size, it wouldn't be conducive to accommodate their furnishings. So we advise you not to bring a whole lot of furniture. As you consider a tour in Japan, there are several benefits and allowances you need to keep in mind. Ample housing is available on post for soldiers with and without dependents. If government housing is not available, the post housing office can help find you a suitable place to live within the local Japanese community. Soldiers not living in government quarters will receive Basic Allowance for Housing, BAH, which is an allowance authorized for members with and without dependents to offset the cost of housing. Soldiers are required to recertify their entitlement for BAH upon arrival. BAH offsets the cost of housing when soldiers live off post. The intent of BAH is to provide uniformed service members accurate and equitable housing compensation based on housing costs in local civilian housing markets and is payable when government quarters are not provided. Soldiers authorized by PCS orders to move their dependents to Japan may be entitled to receive overseas housing allowance for their dependents. OHA is used to compensate members for the majority of housing expenses incurred while stationed overseas. Allowance rates are periodically updated based on new cost data and review of currency fluctuations. Cost of living allowance is also available. COLA is designed to help soldiers stationed overseas maintain the same purchasing power they would have in the States. It helps to offset the higher costs of food, transportation, clothing, and other costs associated with living in Japan, along with any fluctuations in the exchange rate. Unaccompanied soldiers are also authorized basic allowance for housing for their family back home. Well, the main thing new company need when they arrive to, to Japan, they need a sponsor. And once they get here, they'll need a copy of their PCS orders and a copy of their DA-431, their PCS leave, that shows that they've been signed into the new organization. They must be in duty uniform when they're in processing. The sponsor will make sure they make an appointment for them. And then once they get all the in process done, they'll have a checklist to make sure they follow each one of the items to go to for all the different agencies on the installation. Just make sure when they arrive, they have their leave form, any amendments to the leave uh, to their um, PCS orders, and the sponsor with them to make sure they get around to all the places. The bottom line is, there are many reasons to live and serve in Japan, not the least of which are the numerous pay and allowances you'll receive just by being stationed here. BOSS, which stands for Better Opportunities for Single Soldiers, has been expanded in Japan to include better opportunities and services for both single and unaccompanied soldiers. This robust program offers excursions and planned activities throughout the year. Um, of course, we're, we're a volunteer. We're all about helping out others. Um, some of the events that we do is the Cherry Blossom Festival, the Music Festival Bonadori. We do zip lining, we go to the orphanage visits, things of that such. BOSS is open to everybody, that's including DOD civilians, retirees, Army personnel, Navy personnel, active duty, anybody is eligible. You can reach us at campzamaboss at yahoo.com or at www.facebook.com slash campzamaboss. If you have school-age kids, you can enroll them in the Department of Defense Dependent School System known as DODS. These schools offer all the same educational opportunities found in stateside schools, as well as after-school activities, field trips, and excursions to museums and off-post cultural sites. As you prepare to bring your child to enroll in the schools at Camp Zama, Japan, be sure that you have received your orders, and as soon as you receive your orders, go to the DODEA webpage, 
or the U.S. Army Garrison webpage to find more information. When you go to these websites, the three schools you are looking for are Arne Elementary School, which services students from age three with disabilities through sixth grade, Zama Middle School, which services grades seven and eight, and Zama High School, which services grades nine through 12. Make direct contact with the school. When you email the principal or the registrar at the school, we will send you all the information that you need to register your child. You can actually scan and send it in advance, or you can hand carry it with you upon your arrival. When you check in at the school, there are other important documents you need to bring with you. Please be sure that you bring a copy of the orders with all students' names listed on those orders. Also ensure that you bring an immunization shot record and that those are updated and verified. That's part of the information that the school will give you personally. And of course, bring the student's ID card and or passport for validation upon arrival at the school. We are sure to support you with this process and look forward to your children joining us. Of course, there's no need to worry if your children are not old enough for school. Younger children have access to a number of child development centers offering both hourly and daily care. These award-winning centers cater to the needs of the smallest members of our community. They have friendly, dedicated staff and flexible hours to meet your needs. We support families, mission, and soldier readiness by providing a safe, nurturing environment that fosters positive self-esteem through purposeful play, exploration, and quality program, and a feeling of success for every child and youth we serve. We have a staff of highly qualified, ever-growing professionals who are dedicated to providing the most up-to-date, developmentally appropriate experiences possible for all children enrolled in our programs. There are two child development centers. One is located on Camp Zama, close to the middle and high schools. The other is located on Sagamahara housing area close to the elementary school, both offering a full range of care from infant to before and after school kindergarten to include full day, part day, and hourly care. For those children interested in a challenge, our installation offers youth sports, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, scouting for both boys and girls, and many other recreation programs. Throughout the year, you'll also find numerous festivals, sports tournaments, and recreational activities for both the young and young at heart. Our installations feature the latest in athletic facilities as well as robust year-round fitness programs for all age groups. If you want to get in shape, this is the place to do it. For those that like to golf, Camp Zama is home to an outstanding golf course. Because golf can be played year-round here, the Camp Zama Golf Course has a very active tournament program. The golf club features an 18-hole par 72 course. It is considered by most golfers to be extremely challenging. A driving range is available about one mile from the golf course. The golf course has a clubhouse with a pro shop, full-service restaurant, bar, locker rooms, showers, rental clubs, professional golf instruction, and electric car rentals. In many ways, living in Japan is much like living in the United States, especially when you consider that soldiers, civilians, invited contractors, and their family members have full access to some of the most modern and well-stocked commissaries and exchanges found anywhere in the world. Offering the customers all of the products they are accustomed to back home and frequently at a greatly reduced price. In addition to the commissary and exchange, you and your family will have access to on-post services, including the U.S. Post Office, at the same price you are accustomed to back in the States. You also can shop at all the Army, Air Force, and Navy exchange services at nearby military facilities. The exchange offers many benefits to our soldiers and civilians here in Japan. One of them is tax-free shopping. Another one is bringing goods from the U.S. into Japan and having them here at affordable, everyday low prices for our customers. Well, one of the services that we offer to fulfill our customers' needs is as a small exchange, we have what is called the Exchange Shuttle Program. And that program basically is where we may not have a specific item, we ask a larger store such as Yokota or Misawa or Okinawa to transfer that merchandise in. Even if it's not part of our regular everyday selection, we can satisfy the customer's need through the shuttle program. 
And, of course, you and your family can take full advantage of the Army's on-post food, beverage, sports tournament, and entertainment offered by FMWR services and facilities. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of Japan. I think you'll agree, this is a great place to live, work, and play. Japan is home to great food, shopping, and culture, as well as some of the best Army installations and career opportunities anywhere in the world. Isn't it time you consider making it your home too? You can learn more about living and working in Japan by visiting us online at army.mil slash rising sun. From the Army's home in the land of the rising sun, I'm Army Captain Lisa Argo.